It's a double vlog day. Because I had to go so early over. And I should have uncovered these before I left. But I didn't. Oh, that still looks good, though. I know, I'm getting crazy. Yeah, this is getting nuts. <laughs> because this one, I'm just, like, not sure about. This one's looking lovely. But this one over here... Mm, no, 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 no. Okay, so what have I been doing? Well, I went to the... Um, gosh, it's so, so gorgeous. It's 64 degrees. It's October 19th. It's Saturday. This is Shay in Silver Lake. So I'm now in Silver Lake. So I went over to the homecoming um, uh, parade. I had to take one of the girls over there that was in the parade. And uh, to... She's on the volleyball team. And the volleyball team was in the parade. And I go to the game. I take the mom to the games. Stuff like that. So the girls see me all the time. They they don't individually know me, but like two of them do. Two of the girls do, but I met one of the girls through one of the other girls because I take her mom. So like, and I've taken them home a couple times. So you know, then we stopped at the Dollar General, and I found this heavy duty, cute rug. I'm like, freak it out! I love it. So cute. I did pay $8 for it, though. I did. I did, I did, I did. But look at the thickness on that. Impressive. I love how thick it is. Like, that's thick. It is, like, almost my thumbnail thick. Well, I guess it is my thumbnail thick, technically. But that's cool. Like, ooh, smack. That's what you want to hear. You want to hear that. Bam. Okay, but it's an inside rug. But I just wanted to look at it and show you. Show you my scar. I have a lot of dog hair on me because obviously I roll around with my dog today. And it's a uh, Pringles Fox Day. Because I'm feeling chipper. Okay, and then these say $4, but I paid, like, um, either $1.80 or $1.60 for them. I can't remember. I have the receipt if people are insistent on knowing the price. I'm just kind of confused on exactly how these go is it go oh they're like flag thingies but that's perfect because i plan to use them for um to hang lights on and, and the, these white ones are really thick compared to the the white ones are like a little bit better quality i think because they're just a tiny they don't look it but actually the white is a little bit heavier than the black. So I've got four of those and I got four of the black. But the white um, is just like feels just better, smoother, it feels a little thicker. What is happening? Hold, hold on. Somebody just pulled up. <laughs> so crazy. Okay. So I did. I paid a dollar twenty for them. This flag hook hanging thing. So that's how much I paid for them. So it was a buck twenty. And it's like just somebody here that's dropping off some stuff for my daughter, because my daughter's making some things and she needed some materials to finish making this project that she's doing for. Uh, I don't know what it all is, but that's what that was. Anywho, it got really super cold. But look, it's like 64. I'm going to check the soil still wet. So 
So that's still good. I think I'm going to move these. Oh, I can't because my daughter has my dolly right now. They're redoing. Oh, I have to step over this. They're redoing. Um, ew, what is that? They're redoing the post office floor. So my daughter had seized my dolly. Look, he did a loop-de-loop. -loop. He looped in. And then he turned around. He went this way. They're just nosy guys, aren't they? I know they can't get to my trees. But I still worry about them. Look at this. What? Like, <laughs> backtracking. Find out where they started from. Clearly over here. Right over here. Whoa. We did some dancey, dancey derives right through here. What is it that they're interested that's over here? I don't know. There's nothing here that they can comfortably eat. That's laid down. I don't know. Why can they do a loop-de-loop -loop right here? Also, it came in from this direction. Yeah, I know they've been trying to get at my strawberries, but I've kept them under wraps. I don't know. It's probably all kinds of fraud. Oh, there's a bee in there. B, you have to swim towards the log. Towards the log. <laughs> he might speak a different language. I don't know. <laughs> you have to crawl up the log, dude. I cannot hold this for all day. Now I'm stuck. Keep going, keep going, keep going. <sighs> I didn't want to be stuck in that position for a long period of time. Oh, this is my lavender. It's still doing pretty good. I don't see any flowers on it this year. It's concerning to me. Wait, why is it smelling? Oh, whoa, that was potent, potent. It smells good, but it's potent. See, look at those ones laying down back here. I still have a couple of those blooming. I cannot wait to fix that mess. <sighs> Lesson learned with carnations. I planted these from seed. That's a lot of people, like, if you plant from, like, I guess, from, like, if you get, like, a pot of them or a container... So amazing. Um, but I guess that would be a little different. You, it would probably be easier. But I planted from seed in rows. And there's three rows. And I did not really... Like, my first two years, I didn't have this lay-down problem. But it's a, it's a four-year process from seed... It takes four, because these ones are not just regular carnations. These are the giant carnations. So these are still babies. So I may have to, I don't know. I might have to, I can't really extend. This used to be a big, this was all one big flower bed and it was too much for me to handle. So I cut it in half and made a small pathway. Because it was just too, it was too much. Dang, they're just like eating even the nub now. Like they've got, I'm, I'm trying to see how far they'll go with this. Like, dang. 
Man, the stocks on that are just incredibly big. So that's what I was doing. Today I should do stuff, but I'm almost done with those four clocks. The crazy thing that I've learned so far about this year's growing is that my neighbor said that my garden looked amazing, but I felt like it could do, it didn't do as good. It was like a harsh season for it. So what I'm thinking, well, which, and which is crazy is because when I harvested, I have a lot more seeds, but like my, like this did not seed out. Oh, look at that. It was getting ready to seed. See, there's a couple seeds right here. But not really. This is the asparagus. It's mostly just no seeds. I don't know. I just don't know. But like... And sunflowers, I was going to get a lot of seeds because they have a lot. But my four o'clocks were barely anything this year. They were like a joke. Worst growing season for my four o'clocks. I don't know. I have three times the amount of seeds. So it's like... I don't know. It's just really weird. The way that that happened. I have so much I have to clean up. <sighs> Whacking all down. Just gonna whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it, whack it. I don't know why they picked on this one so hard. Wow, look at they chopped that one down to a nub. I I really feel like part of my problem was first of all that the, it froze twice in June, and that was not helpful. And it froze in May, and that didn't help. And it froze for a solid week. I feel like that was part of my problem with my growing season. That Like, that really hurt me. But I also feel like that I didn't have a good enough watering system. I feel, I feel like, especially for over here... I don't think that the sprinklers are the right um, fit for me. So I think I should put in an arch. I think I should run a hose up and over and around this corner and down and just keep going. And I could use that soaker hose and I have a soaker hose, but the thing keeps breaking. So I'm just thinking about... Dang, I hate poking ho holes in good hoses. You know, I love my 125 foot hose or whatever this one is. This forever hose that I can go everywhere with. And I only paid like 30 bucks for it brand new. And now when you go look at it, it's like insane prices. But then again, I don't have to buy a hose. Well, it's all going to depend on who's running the country on how expensive my dang garden hose is going to be. What? Ah. Darn it. But I think that maybe I'll do it. And then Landon also borrows my other hose. So if I poke holes in that, he'll be all upset. Because he likes to put the hose on the trampoline. And, like, him and his friends like to jump, and then there's, like, water sprays everywhere, and blah, 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 blah. So, either I have to fix that soaker hose, and then buy another soaker hose, and then fix that one, until, the, until they're all the same. Look how beautiful it is today. So beautiful. So, I don't know... Oh, and then also while I was at the parade, I got a good deal on gravel. So I might be able to gravel my driveway. That's like a winter project. But, um, because when you put gravel down in the summertime, dust, 
dust in the wind. You just become part of the dust in the wind. And I'm good on that. <laughs> I don't need to be a part of that. Don't need to breathe it in. So, if I have it done in the winter, then when they drop it, um, it's wet and snowy and rainy out and all that kind of stuff. So, it's going to just do all... I don't have to stand out there and wet it and, you know, like that. I don't have to do that. But... I got, a, I got a good deal, so it probably won't be the chunky rock like I was thinking. Because I was just going to take the bottom of the bottom of the dredge of it all. And then just pick out the big rocks and then just use the big rocks for part of my... It's like less big rocks I have to, you know, drag home when I'm out on one of my mini adventures. You know, like we have a rule in the car that I'm only allowed to bring one rock home at a time. Did I show you my potato rock? My most recent find. I want to spray paint it dark brown. Actually, I don't want to spray paint it. I want to stain it. I want to stain it. And it looks like a potato. Looks like a little potato. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it so much. And then I'm going to get a couple of them. Like, I'd like to get, like, a longer, weirder-looking potato. And then, I don't know, like a couple of them. And then I get a little sign. I hang on it that, that my potatoes live here. That my potatoes are living here. They look dead, but I don't care. I'm trying to get the, I need them to go. I need them to flower. So I don't know how many, how long it takes. But I need my potatoes to go to flower. And then I need the potato seeds. I need the seeds. I need it to flower. Give me seeds. And then I plant those seeds. And those, and then that becomes my mother plant. And the grandma plant is just what brought it here. And usually the grandma plant just dies anyway. I need the seeds. So that I can uh, have my them be acclimated like seeds when I grow from seed it does get crazy but it works like I, I do better with seeds man I need to cut so much stuff this is insane in the membrane all right I must go I need to go have a, a healthier breakfast I have like severe um I'm feeling hyper and um my mind is like boo, 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 everywhere. Oh, and I talked to somebody that might take that trailer. Please, please, please take that trailer. Please, please take the trailer. I'm begging you, begging you, because I cannot let that truck go unless the trailer goes. Because it will ruin my view. And already I'm like working on my view constantly. Like my next goal is one of my neighbors, Jesse. He does dump runs all the time. So I got to talk to Alan. And ask him. Like if. Okay, this is what I'm going to do. This is my plan. I'm going to ask Alan if I can have that couch. And if I can have that chair. And then if he says yes, then I'm going to ask Jesse, we need to do a dump run. And then Jesse's going to come over and I'm going to say, okay, <laughs> we're going to start with this couch and that chair and anything else that we can find that we know for sure is absolutely not keepable. And all of that will go in the dump run and I'll just pay for it. Like that's what my next gig is. And then while I'm over there, I'm going to rip down those Christmas lights. And what I don't know what that other stuff that is that's hanging. But maybe we can loop it around a bunch so that it's not like hanging like that. I mean, I'm not expecting miracles, but like I wouldn't mind it if 
I didn't have to look at it. My other, other option that I have would be to put in a taller fence and then buy, spend another 50 bucks on this stuff and uh, get a six, instead of it being four feet, do six feet. And then, I don't know, like those, I don't have like a lot of options here. But that was a good idea, I thought. It was cheaper for me to um, do it that way. Well, that doesn't help with that stuff. But anyway, it just looked nicer. And then I love this. This is fine. This right here is rugged. It's, oh, look, her chimney's smoking. Oh, it actually smells good. She's burning nice wood. Ooh, it smells like cedar. Maybe. I don't know. She's burning nice wood, though. It's not black or anything. She's got good wood. It's dry, too. But anyway. So... If I can get, if I get rid of the trailer, I love the truck. I'll miss the truck. But if it goes to a good home, who cares? You know, like it's cool. It's cool that it has red tires. It's just cool. It's just a cool truck. You know, it's just so cool. I wish stuff like that you could like turn into like some fun thing. Like, oh, that's just such a cool truck. Anyway, let me hop off here. Peace, love, and happiness. Watch out for the dirt poo poo -choo that I'm never going to sweep up. Swept up the other one, and that was just, like, enough to make me not want to do that one. <laughs> that's what really happened. Alrighty. I'm going inside because I need to finish those four o'clocks. If I could finish those four o'clocks, then that means everything but these. Hmm. I don't know. I don't want to yank these yet. They're like on the verge of being yanked, but not quite. They're still pretty green. And there's still quite a few flowers, but I don't really see any new buds. But if I wait like maybe two or three more days before I harvest. Yeah, it's they're still a little wet. I'm sure rustling going on over there in that tree. I don't know. But these ones are ready. But these ones are pretty tiny compared to... So I don't really feel like that might not have been... And it leaves a little couple little things for the bees to... I'm um, still pollinate, but they are getting really droopy, and they're about done. Like they're about finished up. So I do want to try to get as many seeds from these ones. I feel like I got quite a bit, but I would kind of like to. I'm just gonna use these guys as filler from now on the african daisies they're just really pretty flowers they're easy to deal with easy to harvest i'd rather deal with those than a lot of some of this other stuff so we'll see like i'm keeping the bachelor but i don't really get rid of anything if it slowly fades away it slowly fades away who cares but uh i move stuff around a lot so that's an issue but my mums are doing good over here. They're still looking chipper. Still looking chipper. You know? It was a little bit orangish, more orange than when at the store it looked more red. 
but now it's starting to look more orange. And this one definitely is beautiful. Party, 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 girl. I'll just keep covering and we'll see how far I can go with it. That's what I did with my original pink one. And she comes back every year. And I did that with the white one, but I don't think that white one's going to come back because I think the stupid daisy choked it out. I don't know, but we'll see. All right, I'm hopping off here. Don't you just love my, my mushroom rug? I thought it was so cute. Super cute. I have to go to that football game tonight. The homecoming game because I've got to take some parents over. And then basketball seasons will start. And now that um, I'm getting kind of known uh, about the driving, now I have other family members of their kids is, that are on the teams. They're asking, you know, for carpooling type of schmeal and throw down on that, which would probably be cheap, would be a way discount so I have to talk to the other mothers got to figure out because I don't know any of these people so I don't know who gets along with who or who does what or what what or what she would because I don't do the whole gossip uh, circle second somebody starts talking about somebody else I tell everybody the exact same thing I don't know I don't know who you're talking about I don't know and I just keep shaking my head no when I look at them. And I just keep saying, I don't know. I don't know. And if they just keep going and then I just say, look, you know, I'm not going to remember everything that you've just told me. So it's probably, you know, like you're kind of probably wasting your time telling me. Because I don't work in any of those kind of types of circles. I'm kind of like a bus driver. And you people are all children. And I go home remembering nothing because it was all silly conversations. So it's just a lot of air and your those muscles. You know, it's just like a lot of exercise that you're doing by telling me stuff. So <laughs> pointless. Pointless. All right. Peace, love, and happiness. I just wanted you guys to have an extra vlog. You know, just to enjoy. All right. 27 minutes, this is insane. Goodbye.